and hectic. Hello, today. and thank you for listening to the Skate Filet Podcast, the best skateboard podcast in the world. Today is Wednesday, April 27th, 2016. Hello, everyone. I am Andrew. I am from junkiemonkeys.com. Joining me is Mike Medina, Grant Fierro, and today's guest is nobody. Fuck them. We're going to do a solo show. <laughs> today we'll be talking about the Bout Barracks 9, the battles that went on this past week. Mal Summers does a backside overcrook and really did a backside nosebone on. Active Valencia and pigs controversy. That's Grant's topic. We'll let me app about that. Sean Malto on Sovereign Trip. Grant. Jordan Max and Pro. Grant. Don Wright. Grant. The whole show will be about Grant. We also got Josh Kalis doing a documentary called Life on Video with Barracks. Zane Timps, uh, Tipson. Is that how you say his name? Timpson? I'm not sure. I saw the same Zane spelling. Timpson, yes. He did an impossible lip slide at Clipper. I will yeah. ask you, I'm going to ask your opinion if you think that will be – uh, if you feel like that, that beat Jamie Thompson's impossible in 50, don't tell me yet because I want to talk about the skater owned Nolan. Yeah, Nolan Gallagher got owned by a skateboard doing a trail in front of him. We'll also be talking about the ISF president Reem, the IFR commission bullshit going on with the Olympics and the Tokyo 2012 Olympic Games. We'll also be talking about the highway to hell 10 years on the road, and I can't wait to hear about. Uh, uh, Mike Medina's thoughts on that show on Viceland. Double down with June, uh, June and Mike Peck. I don't want to say June's last name. Sato. Yeah, that one. Newly surfaced PJ Lag clips. Can't wait to hear you guys' thoughts on that. Carlos Ike and Tiago Lemos turned pro for Boulevard. Terry Candy talked about his Wilshire 15 crooked grind. My war on that huge hill by. I want Nuge. Nuge, thanks. And then Jordan Taylor for the weekend. Let's start it off with I want to hear about this active Valencia pig wheels controversy, Grant, because I'm a fan of controversy. I live for it. I'm a controversial person. Tell me about it. All right. Well, it's actually not pig wheels. It's um the hundreds made a shirt, I guess, and it says it's a black shirt. At least the one I saw it was black, and it said pigs in all caps in white, um, as in like cops, pigs, you know, and um. And so then so the people that worked at Active Valencia, they were like to promote it on the Instagram. They took photos next to cop cars wearing the shirt. And then I guess like it turned into this huge big deal on Instagram. And then Alex Aguirre is the one who actually told me most about this. But he was – um, and then I guess the news station went to Active Valencia and was like in, in trying to get interviews and like making it this huge big deal that they like – Basically called the cops pigs because they took a picture next to the cops in the pig's shirt. Uh-huh. Um, and then he was like, oh, yeah, like work was so hectic today. Like at, all the actors were getting phone calls from news stations to do interviews. And we were all told to say no and all this. I don't know. So it's just funny that like one just a T-shirt graphic made like huge big deal. But, I mean, it was probably more of a big deal for local news you're saying. employees. Yeah. There was like a, a article about it on like Fox or one of those that Alex sent me a link to, or it was on he posted it or something like that. But no one got charged with anything or went to jail, right, or arrested? No, no, no. It was just controversy over the. I mean, you can't. I guess you could go to jail if you like fought the cops when they came or something. But it was just a photo. But it was just funny. Yes, yes, yes. You can go to jail if you assault an officer. That's well, I'm just saying they couldn't go to jail for just taking that picture. No, no, of course not. It's called. That's the. It's I'm good. sorry. It's freedom of speech. Go ahead. Yeah, Mike. I was going to say, isn't that just freedom of speech in a different form? Yeah, well, I mean, I guess the news the news is probably a little bored. Do you remember, Drew? I don't know if Grant was on the show yet. Do you remember when we t- that, that time where I talked about the cop coming into my local shop? Oh, I was there. Status? It almost reminds me of that for some reason. Like, like they're just getting a little bit too fucking extra involved in our shit. Back the fuck up. Yeah. Go arrest people for Dude. smoking weed and shit. Sure. I, think, I think that might have been my first show ever. Hmm. Yeah, it reminds me of that for some reason. Like, that's fucking stupid, man. Yeah, that, that's that's a goddamn t shirt, dude. Like, yeah, get okay. over. Who cares? Yeah, I don't know. Whatever. Hey, hey, tell me more about we get on the grant topics. Jordan Maxim turned pro. Jordan Fuck Maxim? Yeah. yeah, he did. He's so good. Fuck yeah. He's amazing. I want to see, I haven't seen the workout video yet. I'm trying to see. Do you that. think that he's going to go back for that front side flip? Oh. Have we heard anything? I don't think he's ever talked about it since then, has he? I don't think I've. Heard anything? Well, I mean, I that's, there's one interview, but that's there is. I can't remember if I read anything about that afterwards. I really want to see that, dude. If he goes back and tries it, holy shit, man! If he the makes that, he even tried it is insane. And the the one, the one was like right underneath him. You could tell he was just like, holy fuck, I'm in the air for so long. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? 
kicked it away. Yeah, like whole. I, imagine that hang time, dude. Are you kidding me? Shit. Yeah, I don't know how that's possible. So Landing he, switch down a twenty stair. Holy fuck. He turned pro for Warco. Yeah. That Where's is. Warco out of? No idea. Because didn't a lot uh, of the riders are in LA and a couple from San okay. Diego, I think. Didn't um your boy Knox used to ride for them? Or am I totally mistaken? No, no, you were right, and I asked him about it, but then he told me not to. He told me to start over. He didn't want to be associated with it at all. Oh, okay, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> no, I don't care. Jordan Maxim, Daniel Knapp, Zane Timpson, Cody Hale, Norman Woods. None of these names are familiar. Zane is so good. You know, you know, who, know another, this is a trip. They they have an ever changing team. I don't recognize any of these names. Warka? Younger no, dudes. Yeah, any of these names for, well, at least for the Sun Machine video. Dude, never... Zane is from San Diego. Or like North County. Never heard I'm trying of to watch. I'm trying to watch this Sun Machine. That's a sick name for a video. I, I really do I... like that name. I didn't really mention <laughs> yeah, that. I like that name. It's cool as fuck. Then the artwork, when you guys watch, because Zane's part is on Thrasher, and the artwork that he's really sick on the intro. Kind of skating, is it? Does he cuff his pants? Uh, he's super raw. Oh, I like. That. I mean, there's no compl- It's like I, mm, I don't want to compare him to anyone because I don't like doing that. But it's raw. There is some no comply tricks, but he's he skates a lot of training. Hey, really I don't good. hate on no comply tricks. I hate on the oversaturation of no comply tricks. That's all. He's training I, I, really I, well. I, I, like, don't don't get me yeah. fucked up when Johnny Layton does those no comply burial thingies. Fuck. Oh, yeah. the no comply of a kill. That trick's fuck bad. Yeah. Well spoken, Mike. Well spoken. I, I couldn't agree more. It's just the words out of my mouth. So Zane did the impossible lip slide on Clipper. My yeah. question is, do you, do you think that that outshines Jamie Thomas's impossible 50 on that ledge? I mean, on the Hubbard. Impossible, impossible 50 is gnarly. Dude. I think impossible 50 takes more aim because, like, I was trying to learn one of those, and I kept I, – like, I could lock in impossible lip slides a lot easier than impossible 50-50 on a ledge. It's impossible 50, it's a lot more accuracy. A lip slide – you have all this wiggle room, like to an extent, you can't just lock in insanely weird and still make it, you know. But like, I don't think it takes quite as much aim. But I don't know which one. The only reason I ask, I'm not the type of person to say, "Oh, this guy showed up." This guy, yeah, on exactly. The yeah. Trick. The only reason I brought it up is because I think Mike Mike Peck brought it up yesterday, and I said, "Man, shut the fuck up. Who cares about that shit?" Uh, Jamie Thomas did Impossible Fifty. He's like, "Man, that shit's lame." Yeah, he know. said Jamie's lame. Jamie's well, no, just the not no. He's just he's just trying like comparing to comparing them as lame. the fact, yeah, in comparison. Oh, okay. To Zane's impossible. I think, I think impossible fifty is fucking gnarly, dude. But dude, the impossible lip was so. You think so that's harder? Good. No, I would. I would probably say impossible fifty is harder, but I don't want to sit here and I want to make sure that we get the point across that impossible lip side is insane down that thing. Oh, for sure. Especially I mean, how good he did it. As, like, say what you want about fucking Jamie Thomas as a businessman or as a, a a brand manager or as, like, a team manager for that matter. But Jesus Christ, this footage fucking always been gold, bro. Like, he's the chief for a goddamn reason. Yeah. I'll agree with that. And then it's even more expressed into a perfect segue with the Josh Kalis documentary. Please tell me that you've seen this. Oh, they're so good. If you're not watching them, you guys are blowing. Especially this younger generation who doesn't really realize how big Kalis was to our generation. Like, it is fucking sick to see. Like, it's almost like uh, it's like his epically later series, but like more, like more, like what was what was missing, sort of, like so to speak. Sure, sure, yeah. I feel like there's. Yeah, I think it's so cool, man. And I fucking love the Kalis. I feel like it's a more well done version of Epically Lettered. No, take nothing away from uh, the homie that does it, but Josh Kayla's documentary uh, on the barracks called Life on Video was great. And I don't know if Excellent. this was I don't know if this was an accident or not, but enough time for him to celebrate his birthday on the same week. Yeah, and that's sick. So his today is Josh Kayla's fortieth birthday. He doesn't look forty at all. No, hell no. No. I, I don't know if it was all those top ramen noodles he used to eat, but he's doing well. <laughs> But he always looked really young back, like in the DC video days and shit. He looked, he looked young. You know what I mean? Yeah, you. That's too true. I thought he was one of the older guys. That's, yeah, he's. And I'm like, yeah. Josh Kane's still around. He's still like, skating. What? Like, how how old is Deerdeck? 
I don't know. Is he in his forties or is he like forty? Sure. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There's no way he's no. I feel like uh, Rob. I feel like Rob looks like he's he in just, his forties. He Kalis looks like he's in his thirties. He'll be forty-two in June. Okay, Dude, Deerdeck. Yeah, Deerdeck's so sick though. Like you guys say what you want about him, but he did a lot for us. He man. said Deerdeck is seventy-five. <laughs> Yeah, that says 76, dumbass. You need <laughs> I do need glasses, whatever. The, uh, what would you say is something that that you learned watching the Life on video from the Josh Kalis? Because uh, right now they came out with three episodes. They have part three. They have part four I don't know. Part five after that. Yeah, I don't know if I've necessarily learned anything. Or more just like more learned stuff that I already knew, but more in depth, I guess. Because sure. the Epically Later is like a six-part series or some shit, isn't it? I have no idea. Well, Wasn't it one of those really long ones? They do different parts with different skateboarders. And right. How long the episodes are. Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure Kalis has like a really like an in-depth one, like a six or seven episode or some shit like that. I don't know why, but I'm pretty sure that's like that's the case. Sure. But like, yeah. No, yeah, man. Yeah, see, Jeremy says it's 10 episodes. That's I remember it being like a long one. Like, like, when it was coming out, I remember it like it was like, holy shit, they're keeping this thing going, man. But I mean, as far as like learning something new, not really, but as far as like, me learning more about him and appreciating him even more, yeah. I'll just go ahead and say, it. yeah, I fucking love him. I didn't know that he wrote for Toy Machine. Ah, dude, they said it in that quickly later, and I'm pretty sure it, it was so brief. On flew over my head. I was like, that dude's fucking awesome. Best tray flip ever. Grant, yes, absolutely. Grant, would you say that you learned anything? I'm not caught up on these, honestly. I do plan on watching them. Hey, oh, so you, yeah, especially watch, after what you guys are saying about Bobby. the whole younger generation thing, it does seem interesting to me. But he was so important yeah. to us, you know what I'm saying? He was like, he was the street skating motherfucker. Like, you won't see him drop in a quarter pipe. You won't see him do a boneless. You know what I'm saying? But you know like, what I don't like is at the end of part two, they said it says that Kalis couldn't go to Love Park anymore due to a dispute, a conflict. I highly doubt that. But you read that right. Yeah, yeah. I highly, I highly doubt, doubt. That. doubt. That's why would they put it in there? I mean, <clears throat> it's just like I'm sure one crew was like fucking hating on him or whatever. They said the same shit about the like Cole in that one documentary. Like he wasn't allowed to go there because people were hating on him. But I have a hard time believing that Cole really got kicked out of Love. Park. No, not well. I, maybe maybe people gave him shit and maybe people gave Kayla shit. But I don't think they were like, "Yo, ride out before I fucking pull a gun on you." Kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, well, I feel like I feel like. Because he was always cool with Stevie, and Stevie, we all know how Stevie was back then. Yeah. but I, Stevie was in I the just, streets, I, wanna, I feel like that there's a story, that there's a story with Josh Kalis and Ricky Aula, and I want to know what that story is. What happened? To, Me too. Maybe, maybe he fucked his bitch. You know, something along that line. Maybe, yeah, but, exactly. Could be something like that. Yeah. Wait, just, but didn't, I mean, didn't he just come out with a new, um, like, a Love Park colorway of his shoe for the series, or no? Who? Cool. They dropped – DGK did this badass, like – I don't know if it's a – I wouldn't call it a collab, but it's like a little series of him and Stevie on, like, a board standing in front of the love thing. And then it's yeah, a yeah, I thought there was some DC sure shoes, like, like a new colorway of, of the wolf shoe. Check it out. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yes, okay, I did yeah, see that. Yes, love that on the heel yeah. or something like that. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's definitely it, yeah. I, I thought of those. Drew I, right when I saw those because he loved those shoes, Drew. No, Drew loves yeah. those shoes. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Are you skating the Wesses yet? You know what I was I was about to. I attempted to sesh them yesterday, but Marquise mm-hmm. and he brought over uh his friend Amara, and then they said, No, oh, please don't skate the black ones. And I, said, I can't yeah, I can't skate so the white I, ones. I the white ones are too pure, they're too fresh. I can't skate the white ones. I'm like, if I'm the I right love one, skating white shoes. I have to skate the black ones, but she, nah, he showed up yesterday at the park at some cost of threes. Yeah. So Sick. I almost wore – I was close to – I want to wear them. I, How do you like those? Be honest. Don't bullshit. No, I'm not – No, the costumes. How do you like them? Too. I bullshit. never bullshit. The shoe- <laughs> I know. I'm just saying you got them as a gift. So, you oh. know, I, I know you're – like, obviously you're – Yeah, you're great, fuck but, yeah. that. I'm rot to the streets. I'm the thrasher of bullshit. <laughs> so skateboarding uh, – skateboarding them, I don't like the ankle thing. It, it gets too hot with the sock. On top of the sock, um, do you have to wear like regular socks, or does that thing act as a sock? I have at all? to wear socks. So, me okay. myself, um, no, yeah, I'm the same way. No, trust me, I'm the even, same way. Even even I got the low cutoff ones. I wouldn't want to. Yeah, I'll I'll 
hard to review free shoes? Not for me. I'm honest. They need to know. They need to know. For me, it would be. Um, I'm just like a. I mean, uh, conflict of interest. Eh. I'm a. No, not really. It's not. That's not the case. Anyway, sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off. But when he, I was playing, he doesn't like them. I was playing Grand with it in a game. Of, what'd you say, bitch? I said you don't like the shoes. No, I don't. I to don't answer like the question. That's not there was something that kind of lightened me yesterday when I was playing a game of skate with you. When I almost landed that big flip. What before you lost? Yeah, but you see, it's hard for me. It's hard for me to skate because I'm always filming and I'm always getting bothered by you about what should I got from real. So when you shut the fuck up, I wanted I you to tell me what you got in your box. I just want to skate. I don't want to but you still haven't uploaded your, your, talk your, to anybody. Your... Just let me skate, but I can't skate. So God, you, hey, Drew was, dude, don't my stance skate. is very strong on me not liking the shoe. Grant, yeah. I still break the shoe in. I've only skated it twice. But right now I don't like the shoe. Oh, break that motherfucker in. What do you know? I can't. Grant's bothering me. He's like, oh, no, 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 Film me. Oh, no, 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 Film me. I didn't ask you to film me once. Oh, you little cry, baby. He's he's the film me kid. God, I hate the film me kid. I always get portrayed as things I'm not on the show. How do you feel me? Can you film this? Film this. Can you film this? Dude, oh, wait. I want to film it. I have a weird story. I was I skating downtown like two weeks ago. I had a spot with my friends, and some random guy rolls up. He's like, dude, I'm going to try this clip. I came back like six times. You, you, Can you please film this? And he pulls out his whole camera setup it? and just has me start filming him. I'm like, dude, this is the weirdest thing ever. Like, oh, I would that's never. I would feel, if you're I would feel so it, uncomfortable it. doing that. Nah, I'd be. I'd say, let's go, homie. Let's get the get the Instagram afterwards. No, I filmed him, but like, I, I would never ask some random guy to film did, me. Did he get his so trick? Weird. I totally yeah, would. He did. I totally would. If it was something, if it was something that I was working for, and I. You were the only one there. I, I'm pulling out my setup and being like, yo, phone this dude. <laughs> Fuck it. He got it. It was just funny. What was it? Was it tight? It was like, so it's up. It's a, it's like a double set that's long, but not very tall. It's like a three flat two or something like that. Is this a skate park or no, three flat? And you can go, you okay. can do, there's a wall next to it. So you can do all right down it or up it. And he did like a. You said two flat like two? Like a three flat two or something like that. Maybe. I don't know. Something Damn, like that. that sounds like a good time. And he did a no comply. It's like a backside no comply wall ride up it. So imagine he puts his front foot on the ground and then hits the thing like a back wall ride with just his back foot on. On the wall. Does that make sense? No, not at all. It sounds gnarly though. It doesn't make sense? No. Imagine a back wall ride but your front foot's on the ground. You pretty much did that. A back wall ride? How do you back wall ride with a foot on the ground up a stair set? I don't. What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, Mike, I don't know how to explain it to you. I don't know how. I'll, to probably, I'll do one. It, I'll just maybe. do one on a wall, and then I'll send it to you, and I'll be like, "He did this, but upstairs." Oh. I'm used to people doing like backside flips. Sounds trendy, shit, yeah, Kyle. That's a good point. I want to transition into the topics here. Let's talk about the double double with June and Mike Peck. Yeah. Uh, have you seen this yet, Mike? No, I have not. I'm uh, sorry. No, it's it's fine. It, it, actually, I want to do as much promotion on this topic as possible because Mike is a he is a, a friend of ours. Yeah, he was a nice. Dude. Yeah, he's real cool. Um, mm -hmm. he did a he did a video for Right Channel. Yeah, I saw you guys post about it. I just uh, didn't really get a chance to it's click sick. it. Yet, I guess. Yeah, it's called Double Double. It came out uh, April twenty third. Um. I saw a snippet of this. He only let me watch thirty seconds on his phone. He's like, "Oh, you got the what for the what for the rest of it?" So yeah. the intro, the intro is them eating fucking I guess double doubles at Anna Burger, and after saying that, I want to eat some, but it's uh, it's <laughs> it's, a, it's a doubles. You know how Bert skaters do doubles over each other and shit like that. This is in the streets. With Nick Nick yeah, with, yeah. I bored fun. They're in the streets. And, no, I'm sorry. At a skate park, oh, I apologize. They're at PQ Park. Oh, I was gonna say that sounds fun. No, that cool. does actually. NBD maybe, got to got to get that going. But they did at the PQ Skate Park, Penasquitos, and uh, they did all types of different transitions with tennis balls, hula hoops, <laughs> uh, jumping on each other's skateboards. It it's a fun time. I highly. I was gonna say. I was gonna say. That sounds yeah. black. Oh yeah, they're. Oh yeah, they're, they're have a lot of fun together. Oh yeah, that's tight. The uh, I'll probably watch it. After Absolutely. This. So check check that out. Um, I I enjoyed it. They even used the. Uh, plastic pallets uh, as as mani pads to yeah. add 
to have their Manny Pat experience. That trendy Asian oh, stuff. Oh yeah, but do you know what? <laughs> you know, I, I forgot to give Mike shit about yesterday when I saw him was is the his ending. I wasn't a fan. He's like, I didn't. I I told him no onions, and he puts the fucking burger in it back in the bag. <laughs> I thought that was so corny. I was there when they were filming that. The they did a fucking good job. They did. They always do. How long did it take them to film that? They're probably out there in the parking lot for twenty to thirty minutes, maybe. But I could be wrong. I don't remember. They did do it in a day. No, the part just the, the intro, uh, the in and out thing. <laughs> oh, you <laughs> said you were there when they did that for the intro, gotcha. Yeah, I wasn't there for. They didn't film that whole video the same day. Yeah. How long is it? Three minutes, probably. Three and a half, something like that. Gotcha. Uh, moving on right along, uh, we're gonna. Hey, have you seen this newly serviced PJ Lad clips? I haven't. I just heard I about that. Yeah, where the fuck are those? Man, it's a good shit. Link me on those. I'm trying to watch I'm, that. Right yeah, I'll now. link you up. It starts at a minute and 16 seconds. It's by Orchard Skate Shop. It's uh that they put it on their YouTube Boston. channel. Boston. And uh, they have uh I think, yeah, I think I think it is. I didn't actually look up what. Check that out. See where Orchard. Mass- okay. Boston area. I know. What'd you say that time? Uh, One sixteen. It's about five or six clips of them. He ends it on a switch backside three sixty. Uh, some right, yeah, Boston, oh, Massachusetts. Some, some ledge trick. Oh, mm-hmm. a minute six. A ton of back. Oh, jeez. Mm-hmm. Check this out. He's flipping in. He's flipping out. He doesn't give a fuck. That was sick. <laughs> oh, eggs report. Oh, wow. Is it all that eggs? Yeah. That spot looks so fun. Holy fuck! PJ shut that shit Yo, down. We gotta hit a Boston just for the spot. This spot looks sick. Whoa, that was sick. Is it all filmed the vertical on an iPhone? Yeah, the kickflip crook totally stood out to me, too. That was gnarly. It's Ooh, funny. It's all dang. filmed vertical. Is that like a gnarly inward back tail, or is that like a switch front? Probably all Snapchat. Snapchat. <laughs> oh, PJ's in here. Wow, nose grand pop out was sick. That's what you, what you, what you thought I lied about that? That's the topic. <laughs> the topic. Don't give me that. The topic is about PJ. No, are you not paying attention? Don't give me that. Dang, fakey inward heel to fakey back tail. Is that what that was? Fakey inward heel? The fakey back tail. Yeah, fakey inward heel to fakey back yeah. tail. Yeah. No, no, I know. I know he's going to be in there. Crazy hard. I'm just waiting for it. That spot looks sick. What? I can do both of those tricks, and I, there's no way I could put those together. Are you fucking kidding what, me? What's up with PJ doing the fucking camo, digital camo pants, though? What is that? <laughs> what the fuck is that? He's trying to hide. <laughs> trying to, he's trying to hide in urban areas. In the Let's Go Skate, Grant's uh, Mike's like, dude, where's your brim? Like, it, I don't see it. I love that joke. And then, <laughs> I like, told like and then there was a kid in the skate park who wore camel pants. I said, "Why don't you talk shit to them?" He's like, "I don't talk shit about people. I don't know." I'm like, well, "You're a bitch." Oh, that was at the Stoner one. <laughs> Stoner Park, yeah. He's a bitch. Talk shit about everybody. Say, "Where are your legs?" Who cares what he said? <laughs> Next up, Terry Kenny says he went back to Wilshire 15 three times to get that crooked grind on the on Wilshire. On uh, Nigel Alexander's Q and A, I love his Q and A because you they are them. good. They're, yeah, they're really good. They're long as shit too. They're always like I know. I kind of like it though because I could be like lot of doing homework or oh, something yeah, and like just it listen too. to it. It's tight. Yeah, I agree. I like it a lot. Three times I like for a crooked grind. That's I I like to. I mean, down to fifteen. I like no, no. I, I like to know how many times it takes them to get certain stuff like that. And if memory serves, mm-hmm. no, I could be wrong, but I was under the impression that he landed the crooked grind the same time Reynolds did the full cap. But we don't know how many Wonder. attempts he got at each. You know, like, what if one day he got three tries and got kicked out? Sure. sure. It's Good not. Yeah, it's not. Maybe it was one try for them. That brings matter. back another. Yeah. That brings back another Q and A that Nigel Alexander did. Is Kevin Romar paid the security mm-hmm. guard for thirty minutes or so, or an hour? I was I was totally gonna bring that up. Yeah, I was gonna bring that up. I don't did you see the Blue Johnson one this week? Long, he did the same yeah. thing. He paid a hundred dollars. He tried to pay. No, yeah, Blue right? tried to pay two hundred for five minutes. I love Blue Johnson. For five minutes on what? Wilshire? No, it was, I think I don't know what spot oh. it was. It's like a yeah. I'd never seen a spot either. It was definitely a yeah, rail. It was a rail. 
And the, the, he was like, I got a hundred on it. Give me five minutes. And she's like, no, she was all pissed. And the film was like, yeah, she was, yeah, she was so it. mad. And then the film was like, I got a yeah. hundred, 200 bucks. And she's like, no. And I was like, dang. How are you not going to take $200 just for getting to, for that fucking was, wow. skating a hand around for five minutes? I'd be like, oh, yeah. Well, she probably, fig- well, she probably figures, I mean, depends on the security agency or whatever, but that's you your boss. Fired. Yeah, that $200 ain't going to last you three or four paychecks sure. down the road. It didn't seem – was she security or the per- person that lived there? Yeah, it might have been someone that just lived there, honestly. Yeah, it seemed I, like somebody just lived there to, to know me. for a fact, but – Honestly, she just seemed like that angry-ass white lady that we're all, we all know. I personally yeah. don't fuck, I don't fuck with the – I don't – I just take the – I just bite the bullet. I hold the L. Oh, kick out? All right, come back later. Hold the L. Yeah, just hold the L. Fuck it. They don't. They don't want it. And this, isn't, this isn't a topic, but I just really adopted Snapchat, and I I've been loving it. I've been enjoying the <laughs> talk to all that uh, shit. Yeah, fuck you. So <laughs> whatever P Rock footage I can get, I'm gonna get. Oh my god! Oh my yeah, that god! Wasn't, that wasn't you would somehow turn Snapchat into P Rod. Oh, let, let me start the topic oh, here. I don't have much time on this. So I I've been asking people about their Snapchats that haven't had me yet. And I asked Chris Ray, what's the snap? And he says he deleted it. And I said, why'd you delete it? He says he found himself using the Snapchat camera versus his normal camera uh, too much. <laughs> so I thought that was interesting in a, skateboard, in a skateboard filmer's perspective. He also said, he's like, well, I'm also trying to make money here. So no one's going to hire me on my Snapchat footage and say, oh, yeah, I'm you to film some Snapchat shit. <laughs> they want to hire him. Is that where is that where we're getting uh, to now? There's gonna be a specific job title at some point, Snapchat manager. Could be. I mean that could that, that could Christ. potentially I mean you could see I how mean, many- they have like social media people for like when they have skate park the Tampa Pro. Mm-hmm. The dude Fred Van Chi that that I know, he does the, all that social media stuff. He like ran the their um Snapchat for that weekend. Yeah. <laughs> the new Snapchat part. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god in one a, day though so it's all in your story that's a fucking face palmer for me if i if somebody drops a snapchat part i'm gonna be bummed on that yeah. do, do you remember when they had a feed party when they invited all the professional skateboarders for feed oh yeah wow. Wow. yeah i remember that at feed Paul, the P- Paul Rodriguez was with, i just remember p-rod was there and i saw i'm him sure you do remember that what the fuck does that mean like i say it like that <laughs> Love I don't Paul. Know, fucking Grant got kicked out. Fucking middle podcast. He's. <laughs> yeah. See you later, Grant. Have fun trying to get back in. <laughs> I'm usually up here anyway before Grant started getting in before. Yeah. Nope. Um, we're going to move on to the ISF president, Reem. Uh, I guess his name is Rem. Reem to set to head the, the FIRS commission running skateboarding competition at Tokyo 2020. What's that? The Olympics? Um, yeah, we're on to the Olympics topic here. Uh, there's a few. There's a few things because this is interesting. They, they have to. They have to first. Okay, they have yet to appoint an athlete representative to set, to set to complete the group. So they're just trying to get a group so they can, uh, so they can uh, position themselves to to you know offer, uh, present if you will present the uh, the idea to really make their case to to hire. The, to I'm sorry to present their to present their case so they can get skateboarding approved for the 2020 Olympics. I read a little bit about this, but I think it's real real interesting. I only really skimmed this this article. This article is on if you guys want to read it inside the games. Um, I'm gonna read that for sure. That's this it, all of this Olympic shit is getting so real. Yeah, it's really interesting. So, what, yeah, so what they're getting at. See, I didn't know that they had other stuff going on here too, as far as uh, other poten- potential sports to get into the Olympics here. So we're yo side side thing. Yo, did you happen to see those um, the Adidas soccer jerseys? Uh, I've seen Adidas soccer jerseys before. Why? Wait, are the special ones oh, you're talking about? It- I don't, I don't know. I saw Adidas uh, post and they had new ones, and I just feel like the, the for some reason the first thing that came to mind was. If that's the way the U.S. like Olympic skateboarding team 
uniforms look, I'm fucking so okay with that. Those things look so good. Okay, dope. no, I haven't seen them. No. Uh, they look so – I think I saw, like, a picture of, like, a Lucas Puig one, and I'm just like, damn, you don't want you, that you shit. You should pull one up for me so I can look at it. Well, I, well, well, I, I think I saw – yeah, yeah, for sure. I think I saw it on the Adidas uh, Instagram. So, so – um, Rem is the president of the International Skateboarding Federation. I, I know that they call it, they abbreviate to ISF. We'll head the four-man technical uh, technical commission, which also includes the IR, I'm sorry, the FIRS head of, I don't know what, I don't know, what is that? Sabalanto, I see these are names I can't pronounce here, and another American who heads the third contender in the World Skateboarding Federation. Yeah, the World, World Skateboarding you, Federation. Never heard of that either. This is this is something that's also news to me. Skateboarding is one of the five new disciplines uh, recommend for inclusion at the 2020 Olympics by the Japanese organizers uh, last September, along with basketball, softball, karate, and sport climbing. Sport climbing? Man, that's probably super gnarly. I bet it's like some... Look cliffhanger at, shit. Look what it's, this is one of the candidates to be included in the 2020 Olympics. If you, other than surfing, because that's the one I didn't mention, karate maybe, but sport climbing. I don't see how sport climbing is gonna. I'll beat karate. <laughs> karate. I think skateboarding, uh, other than surfing, is baseball. I mean, San Diego is a baseball city, but I really fucking football baseball. I like. I grew up playing baseball. I love this. Yeah, I'm from fucking Chicago, man. We have two teams here. So, <laughs> what, what did the chat say? Antoine Dixon getting a gold in karate, skateboarding, and sport climbing. <laughs> 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 love it. Fuck yeah. So they're That's when hilarious. they're gonna get together here? Yeah. I, I hey Drew, I tagged you in those. Uh, look on your phone. Oh, okay. I definitely want. I definitely want you to see those jerseys. They're fucking sick, dude. Alrighty. Oh, I thought I put Grant back in here. Get him in here. I've been waiting for so long. Is that- <laughs> I, I knew Drew just didn't see it, but I didn't want to piss him off, so I was just. But what? That's so funny. Well, dude, those jerseys are sick. The Lucas Puig one with the collar. Oh, no, dude, I love it, man. The because it has the it. collar. I only saw Lucas's. Is there other ones? Yeah, the ones? same photo has all of them. Oh, I not, I only saw the photo. Oh, no, that, there's more than one. I'll tag you. Uh, of just Lucas. Oh, I did see. Okay, yeah, the boosts. I like the Lucas one the most because I really I really like the collar. Siles Baxter, Neil. I didn't get the link. Did you put it in the chat? No, tag you no I tagged you in it on Instagram. Oh. I tagged you the one with all of them. Dude, those are fucking amazing. The Dennis one is solid. If it was that blue color, I would like it more, though. I just really like the collar. Oh, corn dog. I don't know. I'm back in it. <laughs> yeah, true that, dude. How many How many uh, clean skateboarders are there? I mean, I'm not saying that there isn't. I'm just saying that there's mo- there's a ton. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I was- yeah, the Silvis one looks good. <laughs> He's LRG'd out, bud. Next topic, let's move on to the highway to hell, 10 years on the road. When I watched this, I didn't try and watch it because it's such a lengthy yeah. uh, documentary, if you will, or a long piece on the history of the King of the Road. I didn't know that Burnett is the creator of the show. Did you know that? No. Uh, no, I didn't know. The way that, man, it was just so cool to see Burnett talk about the beginning, how it was, what 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 was the name of it too? Would they call it like a, not a oh. roller derby, what they call it, cannonballing or something like that? The cannonball, yeah. right? I remember those from when I was younger. I, I never heard of that. I don't think they do it anymore. I remember it being like it's like it was like one of those like Big Brother real world channel kind of thing. Wait, no, like, but not I real world. Like what, just TV, what they used but... to call King of the Road. No, no, it's what it's based off of. Like okay. the idea is yeah, based was, off the. Yeah, that was an actual legit concept, Grant. The 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but then was wasn't there a name for King of the Road before King of the Road, or was it just inspired by that cannibal? Thing? No, he called it King okay. of the Road. So it was just inspired, inspired by the cannibal. Okay. That. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's so sick that it's the same guy still making up the challenges. That is really Fuck cool. Yeah. Fuck yeah. And so dope. so so much shit to talk about. Like everything from the fireworks to being banned from Future King of the Roads to, to how gnarly Jamie Thomas took took zero when they had their streak going on and Drew, did Bird you did you notice when they uh when they interviewed the other zero dudes how like straight to the point they were about Jamie? They were just like he wants to win. They all just said the exact same thing like fucking robots. He wants to win. He's uh, he's down for winning. All he does is he, want to win. They, they train him to say that. He, they are not, exactly, they're not, exactly, they're not, exactly. They're soldiers at that point. Exactly, they sound the like. The funny thing to me was uh, like the um, <laughs> the fireworks, just because I would never imagine there being a rule on King of the Road because it's so like, I and mean, they're already doing insane things. Like, what kind of rule that would there be? But then, I mean, if you start a fire, that's a little risky. So, well, I just thought that was funny. Well, then, well, then it's justified to ban the rule then. Like how, uh, how, how, many, how many did Zero have in a row? Yeah, they had three. Yeah, Birdhouse, Birdhouse, Birdhouse is trying to hit three. So, so Birdhouse, yeah, I was just going to say. Yeah, so to match Zero. Now, did you watch that, uh, the Clint Walker little egg, like, uh, intro thing? The only one I watched was Johnny Jones it's cooking thick. pancakes. It's thick. No, it's tight. It's like he just talks about how, like, yeah, we're, we may not be the best guys, but we're down to do the most shit. And I was just like, that's how you fucking win King of the Road, yeah. though. Like Evan, Evan Smith, Nolly Trey for the front board, and they didn't win. True, you can't win off one dude either. Exactly. If any, Not if that any, element had grimy, grimiest dudes win. I, if, if anything, they probably took away a lot from. I'm sure that they watched the documentary too on Viceland. This is on Viceland. If you guys want to check it out, it's called the. It's called the Highway to Hell. Ten years on the road. Birdhouse might take a lot of the philosophy of. Uh, I mean, a lot of the. A lot of the knowledge that Zero picked up with Jamie knows everything. He knew about what spots to do. He lined it up. He knows that you got to eat on the road, you know, if you're trying to, you know, because you're just fighting the clock. Now, how, would you guys be interested if Birdhouse took the third win? Bring to, Zero back? To go against Zero. But it, I think it would only Holy be cool. Shit. Well, a Zero squad is yeah, not the same it squad. It cool if it was the same team. Like, we're talking about Tommy Gunn's down as fuck, yeah. Tommy oh, yeah. oh, I would say he's still almost as down, dude. I don't know about if he can do it, like, for, like, that no more. Yeah. Well, I, the biggest thing is... Not like how he was back then. Like, back then, he didn't have kids and shit. Kid. He didn't give a fuck, Not dude. even about the age pretty, to me, though. Just about gnarly. the no, you, you serve a good point. He's pretty gnarly. But you're absolutely correct. Chris Cole, he has three exactly. No, he has, no, five trophies. Three of them for King of the Road. Two of them are Skater of the Year. He's the MVP of all MVPs of skateboarding. I completely and agree now, with that. So he don't got cold. Yeah, it's pretty much over. But would you like but, to? What if he was a guest? Oh, What if they fuck. put him as a special guest and then put him on zero? Oh, man. Damn. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> that me and Drew both shut the fuck up, dude. No, <laughs> still not the same team, though. That's gnarly. No, yeah, That's yeah, so no, fucking the, gnarly. The, bird, the birdhouse then, if they were to go and get some then, hands down, they What do you think would happen? No, I don't know about that. Because the birdhouse dudes are super gnarly in their own way. Jaws jumping off crazy shit. Fucking Rayborn, the training game shut everything, that? every channel. Was he around? No, Jaws was like a, t- a teenager skating bowls and shit. I'm just saying, like, the birdhouse from now versus the zero from then, that'd be the oh, that, fucking best matchup. No, ever. I'm saying birdhouse then versus zero then. Oh. oh definitely. What, what was zero, that birdhouse That's back not really then? fair. Yeah, I was going to say. You uh, should compare zero from I'm, when they're winning to I'm really not winning. even. I'm really not even familiar with what the birdhouse team was back then, to be honest Coming with up. you. Biggie. Duh. Oh, Figgy was Figgy was in was it, wait. Riley. Matt Riley. Yup, good one. Matt Ball Riley. anymore. They they had um Dixon. John Dixon was all there too, right? Yeah. And that's just where you like breed the Baker kids or what? And then it's always been like that, oh ragdoll for a brief period. I didn't realize that Dixon <laughs> was on it. John, yeah, John yeah. Dixon was the John Dixon, like the that he's yeah, he was like the kid. 
Hey, they, they won. I took it. Do you think it'll ever be um, shoe brands? There already has been. But what if it was like all shoe Nike. brands? It's been a thing already. Hey, Nike, for, what, yeah, Nike went against Decline. And, oh yeah, that's right. Oh, uh, I forgot the other ones were, but yeah, that's already happened. Yeah, that's cool. What, what did you like more, or you didn't really care? I don't think it really matters. I guess. I like personally. I think board companies. I guess because board. board. I feel like I don't know why. Extent, just, board brands are more together because they go more trips. Maybe that's why. Yeah, that's why. And I think it's just it's more of a, a family feeling, I guess, so to speak, than a shoe brand. But that's just because of the corporate side, huh. I guess. Yeah. Like, what What is a Nike? What is a Nike team? They have so many fucking dudes under there. They can just pick and choose. Like, okay, we'll get him for training. We'll get him to be crazy. We'll yeah, get him yeah. For handrails. It's like, like yes. the Nike team. All right, well, we're going to choose. Well, how many dudes do they say? Yeah, exactly. A thousand. No, 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 but like on the trip. Two thousand? No, on the king of the road. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> Whatever. Well, the point is, their team is massive. <laughs> How they? How they yeah, Nike's team is fucked up. And, and like, do they include Pro Flow? Because then, Jesus Christ, now it's just triple. <laughs> yeah. So, what do you? What are your feelings about who had the gnarliest naked trick done? Jeremy. Yeah, didn't it? What? Switchback yeah. tail. It's pretty gnar. You're right. It was switchback tail. I could have right? sworn that there was a frontside lip slide done by Sandoval. Yeah, there was. Dude, that, yeah, yeah, dude. I, I might Whoa, have to go. lips like Nike. All you're looking at is your balls. <laughs> your balls are just fucked. That's terrifying. I'll go with that. And then him, him to Ollie, that 25 stare was pretty funny, naked. 25? The same 25. Who does, who does shit like that? Who does shit like that? Tommy Guys is out of his fucking mind, man. What's Highway to Hell? Like, the, the Highway videos? to Hell documentary. Oh, fuck it. It was excellent. Was what do you mean? Sick. That's yeah. the topic, you dumb bitch, Grant. I'm talking about, did you see him all eat the 25 naked? Yeah, we've been known about that one. Dude. I didn't realize when that a, happened. Wait, a 25? It's so big. The same when he frontside flipped. Yeah, Sandoval don't give a Dude, fuck. I don't think it's a 25. Now, how many is it? If it's a 25, yeah, then why sure. is Jaws' is melon so... Yeah, is it a 20? I meant 20. Yeah, it's a 20. That's why I was so confused this whole time. I was like, dude, it's, it's not a 25. I remember when I interviewed... <laughs> when I interviewed... <laughs> I interviewed Ryan DeCenzo and Tommy Zanvo at the same time. I was at the I was at the, the Red, Red Bull, Bull thing. Event, and then I asked him... I asked him, hey, how many stairs was that that you front side folks? I really didn't know. And then he said it was a 21, bitches. It was a 21. Did Ryan DeSanto speaking for Tommy Sandoval? Because I asked him if would they frontside flip El Toro. Yeah. That took me back there. Next time. Cool Sorry about that. 25, idiot. That's why I was so confused. My War by Nuge. Grant Fierro. I'll take Dude. I'll have you take the floor. Yeah, I watched his seventh period during science class. The thing was sick. Oh, yeah. Did the, you, I thought it was did you calculate the gravity minus mass and science yeah. in my war? No, they did it for me. They said it's a 32 degree hill, which, I mean, that doesn't mean anything to me, the number, but when you look at the hill, it looks pretty fat. You really think, you really think <laughs> that they Google searched all that to find gnarly hills? Yeah, I mean, I don't think they made it up, but I don't know. You know what made me think of, Drew, is how steep, I wonder how steep B Street is here in San Diego. That hill's fat. It's fat, but that one's obviously way too gnarly. The school, well, yeah, the one he did. Well, yeah, because a lot, tons of people, people do tricks into this one. There's two hills on the way to get to that school where Sean Malta did the back, backside overcroak, where they filmed the pretty sweet intro. Yeah, there's two gnarly hills you gotta go up to get there. Stupid gnarly. My car almost didn't make it up it. <laughs> I like, I like how Nutra was saying how he um. That lady just like pissed him off about how like Little. oh you're gonna die and then he was like nope I'm gonna get her right here and they just how old is the nuge I got you I fucking love that guy man he's sick hey was, who was he he's on before shit. Converse good question I don't know I love that he frontside heel flips upstairs he's really good at front heels. that's one of my favorite tricks to All do right. dude. that trick feels according great. to skate park at Tampa. Oh, he used to be on Circa. Um, yeah, I thought that's what it was. I just didn't want to be wrong. This was 36 from two years ago. 
He's 38, I believe. Still just fucking killing it. Yeah, he used to be on Circuit Combat. Remember when they used to call it that? No. You don't remember that? That's weird. No, my Circa, when I think of Circa, I, ought, I always think of Stash Bot Muscos. Dude, honestly, it's, it's, it's been so, I don't know, it's always been like different since I started skating. It's never been like a huge presence. I just remember Raw Mendetta was on him. You not on him anymore? Uh, what? You not on him anymore? Peter Raw Mendetta? He's on Hop? Yeah, he just killed the Hop better, huh? He has a shoe on Hop. Huh? Yeah, they're great. I have them. Do you, do you think that there's a reason why they didn't do the My War on El Toro when he all did? Do you think <laughs> there's a reason? What was that? Do you think there's a reason why they didn't do the My War when he all did El Toro drunk? It's, that was old. That's old I don't footage. Know. Mm. Not sure. What else we got? Oh, hey, can we talk about Diego? Because I know Mike's going to be hyped on it. Diego, the behind-the-scenes gnarly <laughs> trade flip down Santa Monica, triple set. Diego and the header. Oh. I, I, all right, what's kind of, like, misleading is I totally thought that was first try because in the fucking oh, video part Kelly? you can hear Kelly say, first try, first try. I mean, it's cool that it was, like, first try when Kelly rolled up. Right. But I definitely thought – I definitely feel like that part implied that it was first try. Not Hayden because that shit was – Fuck and then that. the thought that he had to go back because the cop was all cool about it. Like, yeah, man. Yeah, what was that all about? That guy on the bike wasn't even mad. He's like, nope, cut it. I don't know. That I was mean, so weird. you could make, honestly, like, obviously it's a bummer. And if you're trying to trick and that happens, you'd be pissed. But, like, at least the cop goes somewhat lenient in the beginning. Dude, I just don't understand how, like, if the guy on the bike isn't mad, why are you mad? Right. No, I got you. But, I, I mean, at least they gave him some time, you know? A lot of cops would have said, Jonas, Diego is fucking amazing, dude. That primitive team is just not fucking around one bit, dude. Okay, you know what? Okay, now I'm glad that, like, fucking primitive is a topic right now. Because why does primitive get hated on? Because the people like, that As if it's, like, some corporate brand. Why? Why? It's because the people that wear This is a skater-owned brand. This is a skater-owned brand. I'm it's trying to give you the reason that favorites. people say. People don't like the people that wear it. People don't like the people that wear it. I'll put, all right. I don't understand. What people that wearing primitive before primitive skateboarding was even around. Coming from someone in high school, uh, and I've never included. been on here talking crap about primitive. I'm just saying, like, this is what a lot of people would say. Oh, I'm someone in high primitive? school, and there was a lot, a lot of people that, um, like, mall kids or whatever you want to say, like, shop at Zoomies, Tillies, etc., that wear primitive shirts. It's not going to stop, man. That's not going to stop. It's not reason to hate a skate I, brand. Oh, no, you don't, don't have to understand. convince Especially me. I'm not brand talking the crap. No, no, I'm no. Saying. I'm not trying to convince you. I'm just saying they, like, I'll read comments and shit and, like, fuck corporate skateboard. Yeah, fuck it does. They're corporate. Never, it's like, no, in no, what no, way? No. In what way are, you, are they corporate? They're started by fucking Paul and Heath, man. Like, are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, and then, like, the whole the primitive shoes thing, like, the store, that's Andy Netkin. It's yeah, and I don't know where the whole Ruble, right? corporate. I don't know why that happened. I don't know. I don't. I don't understand it because because they're in Zoomies, but then it's like so is this brand. I know um, that's funny to me. That'll always be funny to me. And is is this corporate? No, it's family owned by the same fucking people. I don't know. It's weird. I don't know, man. I just I don't understand. I just don't get these like weird perceptions of brands sometimes. It's like it's almost uh, like why is why is Nike why is Nike I'm sorry. Are they saying about that in Chicago? People in Chicago don't like primitive. No, it's not that. I just like I feel like I hear like oh fuck that like fuck primitive, <laughs> but like for what? Why? Why? Like I don't get it. They got a dope team, bro. The dope. The dope I that's what isn't that what what makes the the brand? Isn't that why we like brands? Yeah. They got the dopest team in skateboarding right now. My I mean, you could argue that for sure. In my opinion, there's how, like, you can argue that yeah, exactly. You can argue that, and I can't. No, I can't. They got Diego Nair, and they got the legend Paul Rodriguez. That, You're right. That's not even the whole team. And their AM game is strong Super too. Super strong. Trey McClung is. Yeah. I feel like he's being slept on heavy. Like, yes, yeah, because it's because of Diego. It's because of Diego. I mean, yeah, that didn't help. That didn't <laughs> That doesn't help, especially when you know I trade a motherfucker like that. But he is a hucker, man. His his element part. Motherfucker <laughs> <laughs> suck a dick. Yeah. He is the truth. Really, like, 
Is he your Bill? favorite? Is he your favorite? McClung? He's so good at ledges. Everybody's favorite McClung. Everybody. Not mine. You like Trent more? No, I like oh Taylor. My God, my why dog. would I? I was hoping you didn't say that. <laughs> That's my dog. He's like ghetto. He's like ghetto and shit for some reason. So I fuck this with him. Just like you. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool, man. That's cool. Um, no, Taylor's cool. I like. Oh, all Trevor's you. crook on the S rail. And, uh, if you're fucking, if you're attacking an S rail, I'm automatically backing you. I don't give a shit what trick you're doing. Uh, uh, every time I see a curved rail, I will always think of Carson. Now, same. I completely I agree. It's like almost when I see like thing, those. I'm uh, just like, oh, Carson, where you, you at? Know those, you know those like really those quick kinks, yeah. like the fucking super. I always think of Gravette, no matter what. Oh, he's so good at those. I think of Nigel. He's the he's he's the king of those. Nisha, really? I think of like big dumbass handrails when I think of Nisha. Like, yeah, long, every time you were like walking to the skin, there's like a 26. Oh, Nisha. <laughs> like, <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Tell me about this yeah. sovereign trip that Malto's on because I thought he's not. It's, this is he's not even this grown. Is I swear it's the second time this has happened. What's this, what's this about? This is interesting. He met up with them. Like they went to Nashville and they all went out there together. I think. I don't think Malto went with them. I think Malto met up with them and then was with them. While yeah, they were there, yeah, yeah that's so the you could say, "Oh, he didn't travel with them." Da, da, da. I get that, but I don't know. He, I still feel like I still feel like Cody Cepeda is and not. Barrow, that, Barrow but. was there with him actually on this trip, which was cool. Hey, you know what, Mike? I'm with you. I'm with you. When I saw Co- Cody Cepeda, I was like, "Damn!" Yeah, I don't. I still don't see how he fits. What's well, this dudes that Barrow is hyped on, right? And like, yeah, I know, but I bet you they're trying to get Timmy and shit too. Who? Timmy Johnson. I wouldn't doubt Timmy it. Timmy who? Johnson. Johnson. Who's that? He was in Cody Safina. He's from Chicago. Coach. He's – Ooh, that boy good. Yeah, yeah. So I, I could good. be wrong because I don't have the evidence to say the first trip that he went on with Sovereign. But I'm 99% sure it's the second time he's met up on a trip with Sovereign and skated with them, mm-hmm. et cetera. And obviously – What do you think, And Malto has a good relationship with those Barracks dudes. Does he? He's been on their side yeah, a lot. Definitely. He's really good friends with Barra. Yeah. And obviously, Costin. Definitely. I feel like everyone's a good. But so not that Costin has anything to do with Sovereign. Like everyone's a, I feel like everyone, to in some way, shape, or form, is close with Barra. You got to nah, nah. go through those doors. If you're trying to get that, you better go through those doors. Don't be a dumb bitch. Not Jimmy Bridges. Not, <laughs> not, not KD. <laughs> yeah. Kevin's homies with Costin, though. I don't know. I don't know, sure. Medina. I mean, pfft. He said, I, I mean, I don't think he's going to leave girl, but if he does, well then. Wait, when did Malko has he, say has that? He, has he ever, I was going to say, has he ever publicly Mike said Mo he'll said never that. leave girl? I was going to say, Mike Mo don't give a fuck. He'll straight up say, I'm never leaving girl. And that's, yeah, that's when did Malto hear. say that? Well, no, Malto, Malto said, well, remember, do you remember he posted on Instagram that it was a blank board? And then Mike Mo freaked out. He said, what the fuck? And he's like, no. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then he came back and fixed. I told yeah, him. Yeah, but then, he just said, I'm not leaving. Hold on, hold on. Mike said, Mike said, if you ever leave, oh, I forgot. I, for, I, I want to be verbatim, but I can't remember. But he says, if you ever leave, Grum would be pissed off or something. So, something along those lines. He freaked out. His heart was beating. So does he want to give Mike Mo another heart attack? I don't think so. He beat his ass. I hope not. <laughs> That's great. Just like I do to you. Next topic, Grant's <laughs> All right, so now we clean up the trash. Go ahead and move on. <laughs> uh, let's talk about – we'll even talk about Miles Silvis without him. So Miles Silvis did a backside Ooh. overcrook on the re- on the 18th stair that he did a backside. Where is there video proof of this or yeah, what? There's a picture. There's a photo? Holy it's shit. A photo. Miles, Miles. Fucked up. Miles. Nope. Oh, my God, dude. Grant fucked up. Dude, Miles part of the way days, just like what the fuck is going to happen? What's going to happen in that? How do you how do you top that fucking 1947 oh shit? My. All right, can we compare a back over to a back nose one? It's the same trick essentially, but getting a truck on there is fucked up for me. No, no, yeah, yeah. Which one do you think is gnarlier? Backside over crook, in my over, opinion. I think blunt. I think blunt. All right, that's fucked, dude. According to the both those tricks are fucked. Try. Jesus Christ, dude. Because I feel, I feel like you have a little room to play with to find just that that angle. But if you're fully tweaked on the side, you could hit your head on something like that. <laughs> Miles is just on, on fucking real, man. How old is he again? Like 21? He's 20. 
Jesus. You, hey, when he back nose blunted that real, he was 17. <laughs> Miles is no joke, dude. It's so insane. Hey, you guys got to get the new tra- the new translate is a really good interview in there. It's, it's made of that weird paper. Yeah, that stuff is weird. Super weird. They they put so good content though. They put it on their uh, they put it on their board as a grip tape. Who did that? Oh, Quasi did that. Yeah, good job, Quasi. That was so funny. Love Quasi. Still like Mother Collective more for some reason. I don't know how that makes. Oh sense, yeah, but yeah they does. yeah they trust me they do too because. Quasi just sounds like when I think of quasi, I, I mean, when I think of quasi, I think of a second-rated, third-rated mother. I'm like, oh, we we couldn't be mothers, so now we're quasi. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I think of when I think of quasi is always like Gilbert Crockett. He's like the, the first thing I think, I think of. Tyler a lot. Part. I think Fuck I think quasi- drop a goddamn part, Tyler. Drop a goddamn. Part. I think of Quasimodo, the oh. Disney film. <laughs> the Hunchback Man. of Notre Dame. Jake Johnson. Jake Johnson <laughs> rips. Oh. Hey, so we all remember Noel Gallagher. He was talking all types of shit, saying ah. skateboarders were there were a bunch of. What you, you what, got what, that what? video proof? You got <laughs> calling them bitches. He says that they can't. Well, he says that they can't land shit. They never land shit. It's like what the fuck's up with that? I don't know. Who, <laughs> these guys TMZ them, but they were following them outside like paparazzi's I outside. Know. Yeah, they, I was just going to say, they totally paparazzi they, stock. They were going to come yeah. out, and then timely perfect. Fat tray flip. Tray flip on flat, and then he stared. He's like, fat one. <laughs> it would be cool but to be the kid that did it in front too. of him. Like, that kid. Yeah, so he high. stopped the yard, too. Yeah, yeah so that was high. sick. Flat. Yeah, that was a fatty I bet tray, he was too. Nervous. Was like, he was like, oh, please don't land Primo right in front of him. Just like Drew yeah. on the podcast last week. I know that. That that would be me. <laughs> that would, I know. I would I would have landed it. I would have landed the same way. I know you would have because you did it last week for Ooh. a candle from Robert Brink. Still haven't gotten that candle yet, Brink. I'm waiting for it. <laughs> <laughs> what's the Sebo? What's the Sebo Walker hotspot, Grant? Oh, it's um mm. a thing on the on Thrasher they did because it's just like a bunch of clips at the same spot. It's some like abandoned building DIY thing, mm-hmm. and it's just a bunch of footage from that spot that he filmed. It's sick. Sibo is out of his I mean, you know, I, I, right I don't think I've ever met someone that didn't like it watching Sibo, so. He's fucked it. up. I don't know what else to say. He's the best. Yeah, we could end it on yeah, that. We don't got to say nothing more. Just he like our, our, yeah. our next topic won't be much said. Because I'm coming to the realization that these Battle of the Barracks 9s, I'm over the, I'm over the early games. I'm over the early games. Just, no, just there was a good one this weekend. This, what, Eunice? Eunice Blink? No, the other one. Nah, fuck it. You didn't like that? The Car- the Carloses? Antonio the Carlos or Chris? I just watched the end. I was like, who that was? was the like, who that was one of the most back and forth of Battle of the Barracks 9 right there. I don't care about the early games of Battle of the Barracks, so let me finish my point. Just let it get past. <laughs> get the finalists out. Move on. This is just all like nerves. I got the nerves. I got the- I'm getting tired of these, pre- these post-game interviews. Nerves. Yeah, the same They're still – so- no, I hate them. I hate these interviews so much. Like, fuck that, Why? dude. If you're not going to have Reddit do it, just don't do it. I don't know. The pregame is the one I don't fuck with at all. Postgame doesn't really, like, bother me, I guess. The pregame is fucking annoying, dude. I hate well, it. I, I, oh, I just, you come up come up with something different other than how'd you feel out there. Talking about – having just a conversation. Hmm. A lot lame. of it feels forced. That's the only thing I don't like. feels forced. doesn't feel natural. Feels awkward sometimes. Yeah, I agree. It feels forced. That's what it is. It feels fucking corny to me. Is what yeah. it is. Like when Reddit did it, it was cool because Reddit talked that shit while yeah, he talked that it. shit. Dude, yeah. no, Eunice looked a little annoyed with Mister Mike Mo. Yeah, Eunice did is you just see that corny. when he brought up, he's like, is, "Oh, your ex girlfriend or something." And Eunice just skated away. I was like, oh. looked a little awkward." Yeah, I love Eunice. Eunice it's is fun fucking watch, amazing. Dude. Man. Oh, fucking I want, amazing. I want to watch Eunice Mike Armani. Mo again. Eunice, Ar- Eunice Armani, Ar- Ar- Am Rani, took the <laughs> win, win over Jack Curtin. I like Jack Curtin at the end. He did say, he was like, yeah, cheer it up a little bit. As he yeah, that was, yeah, that was like, sick. That was he sick. Fucked up on- See, we need more shit like that. I need like I need the that Bash and Salad Bonzi in Street League at the Barracks. Did he put the shirt over his head? Oh, he was looking. Yeah. He's acting like a fool. <laughs> I need Yo. to be. Yo, Bashing. <laughs> Dude, Chicago loved Bashin. Oh, as they should. 
Chicago fucking loved bashing. We got hyped on him. And Antonio D took the loss to Chris Calborn. Colburn. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Colburn. Colburn. That name is hard for me to read. I don't know why. I always say he it wrong. It. They both Colburn. do, dude. Antonio has so much pop. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't watch it. No, you, yeah, you should watch that one, Drew. It's a good, it's probably the best. I mean, I thought I thought the Brian Peacock Stephen Lawyer one was dope just because I like those dudes yeah. a lot. But I mean, th- this one as like a match was was really was good. Really good. Mm-hmm. Next topic, we'll be moving on to Gage Boyle Trans World Checkout Park Grant Fiero. I'm actually not oh, familiar dude, with you this. Watch it. Gage kills it. I don't I don't actually know him personally. I just um, Drew, you know the M Sam contest they have here. That's pro. Oh. What? You know a lot of these guys named Pro? Do you know him personally? Do you know Miles? He's Sil- not Pro. You know you don't know Miles Silas personally? Drew, what are you talking about? Who's Gage Boyle? Who's he ride for? Uh Real, Spitfire Thunder, America, Bronson. I don't know what he's on. Bronson? Oh. Yeah, Bearings. Lurk Hard. I don't know. I think that's Lurk probably hard? Glassy. I think he's on Glassy. But um he skates, you know, those Am Slam contests, like the contest series they have here in the summer, Drew? Uh, yeah. That's where I first saw him, probably when, like, almost when I first started skating, and I just went to one of those. He was always there. He lives up in, like, the L.A. area, like, Simi Valley. Mm. Um, yeah, he skates the Alex Midler. Dude, and he came with a video check-in. It was so gnarly. It's crazy good. It's crazy good? It, dude, you're, you'll be really, really hyped on it, especially his style and his pop. His, his garden boy? Garden, uh, different, really, really good. What's he? What's he like? How's he skate like? Does he skate like a a, a Jamie Foy? Does he skate like a Leo Romero? Does he hug like it. Reynolds? He or hugs is- for sure. He skates. He skates big rails. Um, he dude, there's this one thing. It's like a, it's like a kick, like a little bump thing to a fatty flat gap, back three nose grab. It was so sick. I like back three nose grabs. Remind me of my boy. Keith Kirkchart. Keith motherfucking Evan, I always think of Evan when I see those two. Him straight. Um, he frontside 50s, a fat rail. A really, really cool front feeble pop out. It's one of my favorite tricks he did. I don't That's know. Great. Check it out. It'll re- you'll That's definitely great. like it. You sold me on it, Grant. You did a good job. Can you tell? Can you sell me on the Zion Wright banging? <laughs> That's, that has to be the best banging ever. I don't, Whoa. It has to be up there, dude. It's up there. I don't know about ever, but that that dude is the, the best fucking best I've ever watched. Contender on a banging, Mike. What would be a close contender? Yeah, I agree. What would be a close? Personally, just the last Sebo one was yeah, fucked Sebo up. ripped. Yeah, like just just off the top of my head, like last week was fucked yeah, up. Yeah, they're killing it with the dang Sebo and then Z- yeah, I mean, if you want me to be, if you want me to show my bias, I can do that and say that the Smolik one is like my yeah. favorite one. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> dude, but okay, Zion's back, like alley oop back one eighty to fakey nose grind. Dude, I'm not, I'm not disagreeing one bit. That's Zion's oh one is just fucking gosh, cold. Gosh, dude, and the kick flip. Oh, shit, man. Yeah, he was skating one of those uh, those fucking those cu- or, uh, those limited edition real boards too. Oh, I was the hyped Spectrum, on that. yeah. He had the I think the he had the K Walks one maybe. That was fucking sick. Those boards remember. are. He had excellent. One of them. I don't know how you're skating them, dude. Oh, those are wall hangers for me. Oh, man. dude, uh, I just have to. But good for you. I mean, I'm not hating. Yeah, no, not at all. Fucking skate your shit. Yeah, yeah. That, That's no, sick. did you see on Snapchat today? They're coming out with more. Oh yeah, I did. yeah, yeah, yeah. Limited yeah, one, and then another Dennis one that yeah. looks a little different. And Robbie, right? I uh, I, I could have missed that, but I don't see a Robbie one. Oh, my bad. Maybe I'm I wrong. just saw. I thought there, there was, was a Robbie just two one too. on the photo that I saw that he posted. Oh, my bad. Let's see if I'm, he added another I'm, one. I'm impressed. It, it was a good banging, but one say one say it's the best one ever. It did too. What's, what would you say is the best one ever? Nick Tucker? They had a they had a they had a short but sweet Paul one. It was about fifteen I seconds. I knew you were gonna say that. Was that where he does the dab? Or was that, <laughs> no, that was the running gun. Oh yeah, running gun. That's what it was. The crook nolly heel out. That was hectic. You know what? To be that to be perfectly honest, that was my first time watching Zion skate, and he's a he, I like his style. You know what I love? Yeah, for I sure. I want to be able to front Maybe three like that. Red Nikes. I want to buy red Nikes now. I want to be able to front three. I have red costume ones. 
just you know that he bones the ollie and then you know, mm -hmm. it just dips it. That's how that's I, I on the was nice. That's how my boy Tom Asta does them too. Oh, when Tom, I don't know, Tom doesn't like that backside. He's the best. Tom fucking Asta. Yeah, he's one man. of your favorites, isn't he? I'm sorry. Fuck yeah! Holy shit, man! It's all there. He does it all. Hey, did you see the Hardy's Thunder collab? That'd be my next topic. Yeah, that thing was sick. sick. Love him. That is sick. Dude. What a cool collab too, with like a smaller brand, but like a brand that like people really fuck with. Like Hardy's is sick. I'm back that brand fully. Yeah. So rad. It's really cool for them to get that exposure. I remember when Jim was teasing them, yeah. and I was just like, "Fuck, I remember, yeah, that's yeah. sick." Yeah. The way that um, the way that um, what's his name? Why can't I think of his name? Drew, what is it? Uh, Tyshawn. The way Tyshawn like did the intro, like the teaser for it, was so dope. Oh, on his story when he had the hoverboard. Yeah, I thought that was hilarious. That was so cool. Uh, I really like the graphic, like the the one, just the one they used for the stickers and like on the silver trucks, mm -hmm. the ones that were silver. Yep. Yeah, I thought so it was sick. sick. That's cool. Very cool collab. Definitely. Very cool collab. And I like how was how the black ones were limited. And you see the photo, I think Thunder posted it, like special something for the Hardys dudes. And they all just, there was probably like just nine or ten of them that they sent the trucks to or something. Sick. With that's your sick. name on the box. Like, that's so rad. Marvel, Damon. Who do I want to see a collab with? I'll be thinking. Marvel Studios. <laughs> for sure. I know, I know you would love that. I know. Our I next know. and last topic will be Jordan Taylor for Weekend. For weekend, dude. Honestly, Jordan Taylor wasn't he? Hold on, Toy Machine. I don't know who he used to be on. Pretty sure it's Toy Machine. I'm pretty sure it was Toy Machine and New Balance. Yeah, I'm he's correct. on New Balance, you're right? Okay. Oh, Damon, got it. For the assist. Yeah, he skates. He skates fast as dude, fuck. He ribs. Dude. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You know the first thing I saw but, when I when I thought of, what is the weekend team is, is is do they have a pro team over there or is it just like Johan a squad Han. of dudes that's their team? Is he pro? Is like Johan or is it Johan or Johan? I think it's Johan. Okay, is he pro? No. I'm not familiar with weekend, so to speak. Yeah. Honestly, if you're I'm right, honest. he was on Toy Machine. And I'm waiting for them to add Austin. Is that actually happening? That's the first thing I thought of when I saw Weekend adds a new writer. Or whatever. Oh, good, because he's definitely pro. He's already like at that status. Yeah, what if they, if that's actually happening? Because remember, we saw good that question. one thing that said it. What is a uh, weekend? Oh, uh, Raymond Molinar. I knew that. Johan, Christian Maloof. Yeah, Alex Schmidt. Do you guys know? What distribution they're out of? Uh, I, th I think it's into like on its own, to an mm. extent at least. Like, like skate moth, dude. That's how they do it. Yeah. Too. I don't know. That's crazy. But cool logo. Eh, whatever. They had a fucking Seinfeld board that I sold out of. I was totally looking to buy that <laughs> one. The slam lot. Yeah, that is a funny video. I'll tell you that. Oh shit! Was that Professor, Andrew Cannon that told us about that? Professor Schmidt, about what? The slam lot? Because I hadn't seen it before that. No, I've never seen that either. Oh really? Yeah, Cannon was telling us when he came on. I think it was Cannon. Oh shit! It, yeah, watch it. It's funny. It's like a playoff. Shout, of out, shout out Andrew Cannon. Shout out Andrew Cannon. He's a cool dude. Fuck yeah! Hey, wait. What about we can't forget who went pro? Oh, yeah, Tiago Limos. And Carlos Aquiles. Deservingly so. Holy yeah, shit. How the, fuck is Tiago, how the fuck is Tiago not pro already? Like, are you <laughs> Carlos EK term. Dude, dude is next level. Boulevard, right? Boulevard is Syndrome? As far as I'm concerned, I don't know what happened to Syndrome. I don't know what they're doing. <laughs> I saw – um. Josh Kalis still back in the silver real hard. Really? They got a new – they have another – What? They have an L class. Yeah, he's still back silver. Interesting. <laughs> Those are the worst trucks I've ever had in my fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> like hands down, dude. I'm sorry. Those were not good. Like the day I switched back over to Thunder, I was like, okay, I'm back. Welcome home. I, don't know, I never tried silvers. I usually I just got them there, like, like they were at my shop forever. 
I see. I'm a, I'm the opposite. I like to try stuff. Yeah, I think that's cool. I just I don't know. I, I don't. I just like find the stuff I like, and then I'm have the same setup for like years. <laughs> Like, I'll tell you right now, I do not regret buying that pizza board. That thing is fucking excellent. Nice. Oh, yeah. Well, that sounds like a show today, guys. For Grant Fierro and Michael Medina, I am Andrew Ayano. We will catch you guys next week. Please download us on iTunes. We would appreciate it. Skate Flay is the place to be. <laughs>